He doesn't have a cow, but he does have a skateboard. Here's a look at New Jack Specific, The Simpsons 5-inch figures. This is Bart Simpson. Collect your favorite cartoon characters from the Simpsons TV series with the first wave of Simpsons 5-inch scale figures featuring basic articulation. These iconic characters from the Simpsons are sure to please cartoon lovers and collectors alike. Well, let me start at the start and then we'll take it away. His name is Simpson Bartholomew J. And I think before we get any further with Deep Deep Trouble, I might get in Deep Deep Trouble if I don't first tell you guys that the figure stands about three and a half inches in height, or the new Jack Specific Bart stands at nine centimeters tall. As I'm sure you guys are all so tired of me going on about this, I haven't found any of these at my local stores. In fact, the only place I've been having any luck finding these are on my Facebook selling groups, in which people were generally selling them for 30 to $45 a piece. Most online sites still, still show pre-orders with a third quarter 2024 as their release date for around $18 a piece. I went over to Entertainment Earth initially and they weren't actually even selling the figure so, till sometime in October. So at least we're looking at all of these courtesy of Facebook of all things. Well, we've already, of course, already had a look at Homer, so I'm going to bring in Homer right now. I would say that, I don't know if I would say like the sizing is there. I feel like Bart's maybe, his head, maybe his body isn't so bad. Maybe it's the thing that's throwing me off is that I feel like his head is maybe too big. When you look at the proportions, though, when you compare them along with Homer. Of course, we've already had a look at a smaller version of Bart Simpson. This came us to, from the 2.5 inch scale, also from Jack Specific. Even though this is a bigger Bart, he does have the same accessory as the smaller size. The figure comes include the skateboard. I'm just going to bring in the skateboard that we got with the 2.5. Uh, not only does it, not, not only am I convinced that they're using the same mold, I'm also convinced as well that they're assembled the exact same way. They started likely with red plastic and painted the stripes in green. And even like the placement of the peg is exactly in the same spot. They both have rolling tires, so at least that's good. You can take yourself, of course, Bart. He does have peggles on the bottoms of his feet. Kind of look like owl eyes. You could just go ahead and plug those feet, though, onto those pegs. And then you got yourself Bart to roll around on a skateboard. Depending on how you actually have the figures standing on it, sometimes it does make them a little more off-keltered. But if you have them front, center, right in the middle, you should have no problems getting this guy to balance. Remove the skateboard. You can also as well take the skateboard and you can fit it into his hand. This wasn't as something as easily done on the smaller scale, but you can actually take this one very easily fit inside Bart's hands. Go ahead and remove this and put it off to the side. The figure, from a standpoint of sculpt, does look a lot like Bart Simpson. But again, I keep hating to bring back the same point I mentioned with, with Homer Simpson. I kind of feel like the smaller scale version of the figures kind of have a better looking plastic. Which seems really strange because you would think that if a company is producing this and then they're producing this, they would not have just simply used the same plastic. And yet, though, looking at the two... Maybe one is painted and maybe one isn't, and that's the thing that's dividing the two, but it just seems so much more vibrant on the smaller version of Bart's than it does on the bigger one. The bigger one actually kind of comes across a little bit more faded. Uh, body proportions are somewhat similar. I mean, obviously this one now it inherits some additional posability that we're going to talk more about in a moment. From a head sculpt standpoint, I know I maybe had said with Homer that it was a little bit different from his lower jaw. I don't know. Do they look the same? They look the same to me. Just again, different color of plastic. The brighter color plastic looks so much nicer. I just wish this could have been carried over to this. We'll move the figure out of the way though. Uh, Bart Simpson does still sport the orange top. Now we will be looking at in an upcoming review, the Bartman, which doesn't have though the same head sculpt as this one. You'll see he has a completely different expression. The sculpt of the, fa the face still looks good, whether I don't really like the brightness choice of the yellow or not. I mean, it looks a lot like Bart Simpson, and a paint for what it is, although really with it only really being the pupils and then the eyes, there's very little that they could have made mistakes with. I, I didn't mention this actually when we looked at Homer. I noticed with Homer, you can see there on the inside of his leg, I thought that was a little bit of a smudge of paint. It looks like it's actually a date print, you can see right there. So that probably is the lot number when it came off the, the assembly line. Um, Bart also does have that as well. Although with shorter shorts like this, it's a little more easier to see that printed on the inside of his leg. Something also I've noticed here, and this is now the second figure I've noticed this, is that he's very loose. Not loose where I, I, I'm already disappointed that getting him out of the packaging, he's just flop, he's a floppy mess. But you can see like his elbows are very loose for the what little time I've actually had this guy out of the packaging. Um, his, his shoulders aren't so bad, but it's more so like just his elbows. Luckily, his knees aren't so much the issue. His knees are good and tight, but they're using very tiny looking joints. If I could describe the plastic, it's not like one of those rubbery kind of material plastics that they're using, but it definitely feels like 
it's got a little more of a gummy kind of plastic feel to it. Although it's still a good plastic, I, maybe that's one of the reasons why the joints are coming across a little bit more on the looser side. There's definitely looseness though, at least on mine, in the elbows. Now, speaking of the articulation on these guys, something I did mention though with Homer, is I wish that they could have found a way to put a ball joint in here. Uh, Bart is only essentially attached on by a peg. I didn't want to really take the head off just for the risk that I could break the peg, but it's essentially just sitting on top of one singular peg. So that only really allows the head to rotate all the way around. You, behind the screen right now, may be looking at this and thinking, you know what, that, that's not a bad thing at all. What's so wrong with just having a swivel? There's nothing really wrong with a swivel. I just think, like, it'd be so cool if they could have found a way to put bar, a ball joint. Although, you know, you really have to kind of look at the makeup of the body here. It might have been maybe even hard to put a ball joint because what's the head going to hinge forward against? Like, it's so flush against the rest of his body. Maybe a ball joint would just be an impossible thing to pull off. Maybe I'm just seeking something that's just the impossible. That's possible as well. Head, though, does rotate all the way around. Uh, for the shoulders, they are on hinge joints, so you can bring those arms out 90 degrees. You can take these arms and rotate them. Yes, you can, all the way around, and on this side as well. The figure does have a swivel, so the way they work this is that they've attached like the bicep to the sleeve, so it swivels conveniently there. Figure does have a hinge in the elbow. You'll notice, though, that with the elbows, uh, if I just get the arm down here, for example, you can swivel it here, but the moment that you bend the elbow, it sort of does prevent this from being able to move as much. It moves, but it actually is moving at the sleeve. It's not moving at the, the arm. It's kind of hard to show you guys that. Hands rotate all the way around. You can hinge them also back and forth there, too. The, leg, the waist is on a swivel. It is a little loose, though, on Bart. He's got the ball joints on the legs. You can bring the legs forward. You can bring them back. He does have a little swivel there just underneath the leg, uh, just underneath the shorts. So he does actually manage to pull off more posability than Homer we looked at before. He's got the hinge in the knee. Uh, a little loose. I can almost see that that might be a problem down the road. And uh, he does seem to have a swivel there also in his shoe as well. So there's a fair bit and actually a lot more happening here with Bartholomew J than there was earlier when we looked at Homer J. Bringing both, in, uh, both the figures in right now. These are again from the first wave of figures. I like them, but again, like I, I just, one thing I just continue to say, and I, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, keep saying this, but I just feel like while these guys are lacking a lot more of the posability, I feel like the smaller scale figures look a little bit more like the cartoon. There's something that's off by the way they've painted these. I'm just going to bring in also as well the 2.5 inch scale Homer. It, the colors I think were a lot brighter for the smaller versions, uh, not maybe as much for the shirts and the outfits that they wear. I, I feel like with Homer too, like the plastic on his face a little bit more shinier. Bart doesn't seem to have that. He's a little more of a matte finish on his paint. But I just feel like the yellows, the yellows, the yellows just seem so much more brighter on the smaller scale figures. Now, I don't know if that's going to continue that trend when we look at both Otto and Bartman due to the figure reviews. Of course, we will be looking at in the uh, in the upcoming or coming days. Bart, of course, as mentioned already, does come include with a skateboard. Uh, Bartman does also come include with a uh, slingshot, so you don't have to necessarily use the slingshot with Bartman. If you don't want, you probably could then use it with Bart. And uh, probably I would imagine, too, if we aren't going to be getting any more iterations of Bart, or Bart Simpson, we probably are going to be getting some additional accessories that aren't currently found with this figure. Like Homer came included with the box of donuts, which, again, I would just bring mm, donuts, just bring back the box of donuts. So at least they come included with accessories. Uh, I kind of wish they could have come in clue with more for the asking price of what they are, but all things considered when you're all in, and if you're lucky enough to find these in stores rather than Facebook selling groups, I think most of the uh, pr prices that they're going to be selling for is around that $17 to $18, which isn't, isn't that bad at all. That tends to be usually the case also with the Jack specific Nintendo figures. They're not overly expensive. You usually get like one accessory and like somewhat the same similar levels of postability. So Jack Specific does know how to make articulated figures, and I think they've done a decent job so far getting us articulated Simpsons figures. The only thing, again, is I just feel cosmetically, maybe the smaller figures have them a little bit beat for the brightness and the cartoon accuracy. If you like the idea of Bart Simpson coming included with a skateboard, well, you're in luck, because the Bartman not only comes included with a slingshot, but he comes included with the exact same skateboard. I don't mind the fact that the character comes included with a skateboard, because that's one of the things he's known for having. But I think it would also have been nice if they could have changed the skateboard just a little bit. Give a variation to the skateboard, even if it's cartoon accurate. Just having two of the exact same accessory, well, I want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to talk more about that when we look at the reviews of Bartman. Uh, head to toe, though, it does look to be a good-looking Bart Simpson. He's a little loose in the elbows, which is one thing I'm still a little bit worried of. Is this the legacy of this line that 
The figures over time will have very loose developing elbows and knees. The figure doesn't have as many issues with the knees because probably I'm just going to end up having the figures with straight legs anyways. Uh, Homer and Bart, I mean, it's not like you're going to have them necessarily in running poses, but the figures do have peggles at least on the bottoms of their feet. So if you do want to use a display stand, even though one isn't included with these figures, you can already, already know where I'm going to go with this. You can just use a display stand from another figure company. Of course, as I already mentioned, we will be looking at the Bartman and we will be looking at Auto. Both these figures, all of these figures, as far as I know, most online site sites still only show the pre-orders listed as the third quarter of 2024, which lands us on the calendar at around that October to November release date. At least on Entertainment Earth, they flat out tell you the date. I think they're listing it as October 2024. You don't want to wait that long. Or if you're somebody that wants to review these like me, your best bet is either hopefully find these at your local Target stores, or if you're a Canadian collector like myself and have no Targets to be found at all, uh, then your best bet is probably Facebook or even on eBay, where expect to probably pay around $30 to $40 each figure. Have you guys been collecting any of these? Let me know down below in the comments section. And do you also agree that perhaps the 2.5 inch version of Bart perhaps is a little bit brighter than the one we got here in 5 inch scale? If you guys also did enjoy this video, do it a solid. Throw it a like. You guys want to stick around for more so? I hope so. Because we will be also looking at the reviews of Otto and Bartman in the coming days for the remaining of this week. So make sure you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.